Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js TypeScript. So today we are going to learn about the developing the REST API using the SQLized TypeScript, Node.js, MySQL. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So <coughs> we have to install the this packages. So I think MySQL 2 I have already installed. So don't require right now here. So previously I have already installed this one. Okay. So let's try to install this one. Okay. So let's try to paste this and install this. Done. Next step would be DB connection of video for the SQLize part. So let's go to the db.sqlize. Where is db.ts? So currently this is for the SQL. We have going to comment this, add in the next part. So we have the SQLize. Okay. Then we have a connection dialect is MySQL. Okay. Then we have the host PG user that is PHP my admin password. We will add or we will create a new database now. So let's create the new one and let's because tables would be creating its own. So first we go with the database where it is database. There is no option to create the database. Yes, it's there. So we have to just go with the, this one. So it will give me the option to create the database. Mm, data. There is option, I suppose, all the database. No, 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 this is not this one. We have a create database. Then we will add another database, node.js. Okay, save this. So we will add over here the database is node.js. Save it. What would be the next step? This is that one. Define the SQLized models. So go to the model and user.ts. We have to update this one. So we are we have the user.ts file. So it is there. So we will comment the previous one, whatever we have written, and just add our new lines of code for the SQLize. So we have we have the models. So this is the model part. So we have the username. This is the model. So let's add it. Okay. So let's see this one. So we have the import the data types and the model from the SQLize DB SQLize. Then this is the user class user extends model public ID username and the email. You can add the other fields here. Then user dot init ID type auto increment primary key. Then username would be the string allow null false email would be the unique. Okay, allow null to be false. And then we have that SQLize table name should be the users. Okay. And then we are going to export that model. Done. But we'll do the next step that is a source app.ts file where we are doing the connection and all. So let's add this. And here we have the server listening to the port. So let's comment the previous code. Let's add our new lines of code. So here we have the express user modal express. Okay, then we have a process env part. Then we have the users. We are finding all the details of the users. And if any error, then error in fetching the users internal server error. Okay, then we have app. We have to listen to the app done. So let's try to run this one. And see the connection with the SQL and the database is run. Uh, tables are creating in the database or not. Let's run this. Okay. And here we have the tables. But in the SQL, I guess the tables should be run over here. I think for that one, I think there is another command to run that. I will because sequelize part is like creating the model. I suppose I think uh, sync part I think somewhere is there. So let's connect with the previous one to check that the everything is connection is working or not. Let's see first. 
then we will come to that point so here we have the db.ts so here test db so we will go with the test db right now okay let's try to run our previous users part then you can see internal server error and what happening over here unknown column username in the field list okay because the fields names are different one right so it's throwing the error username email created and updated right select id from the username and what they have the fields in the test dp so let's go back and go with the test dp that means connection is working fine we have the name email address age we have the models part So here we have the name, email. Okay, let's try to run it. One on column created and a bit created at in the field. So you can just skip that part. Created or uh, alter we will uh, delete that part alter and this we did only the address also the age also name should be username save let's try to run this one So let's rerun this one in game run dev. Let's try to again internal again. Unknown column name in the field list. Name where we have the name. Okay, so here we have the username. Okay, okay, I have just renamed that one oh, username. again id username email created and updated at from the users created and updated at where we have added i think might be it's the default created at or updated at let's copy this and try to add the alter table let's add two more fields created at and updated at copy that should be a timestamp. The timestamp should be timestamp, and it should be timestamp over here. Just save. Okay, this is done. Let's try to run again. And something went another. Okay, the server is not started. Sent. Now the data is coming. Okay, that means connection part is done. So successfully we have done with the correction part with the sequelize. The thing is that we, the tables are not created. That is the big thing. So I will check and I will update in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.